Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where we are going to show you how to optimize steel structures in STAD Pro Connect Edition. In this video we are going to show you how to complete your workflow after your optimization is performed. This will include the process for updating your section properties in the modeling mode and then re-performing the design. We will now turn our attention back to our sample model. In this sample model, we've just completed performing the optimization and we're still reviewing the results in the post-processor. Now, a word of caution when taking a look at your design results information in the post-processor. Now, although the results of the design property are available in the post-processing mode, these sizes must still be assigned to the members in the modeling mode. The select command will suggest alternate sizes, but it does not replace the original size in the input file. We want to officially assign the new sizes in the model to ensure that all the calculations are accurate. Now a few pieces of information you're going to want to be aware of. First is in respect to the seismic loads. Within the seismic load definition, the seismic masses are defined through a variety of load types including the self weight of the model. The self weight within the seismic load definition uses the initial member properties that were assigned to the model. To recalculate your seismic load definition using the new section properties, you're going to want to officially assign those properties to the members and then re-perform your analysis. In addition to that, you're going to want to pay attention to your member offsets. If member offsets were assigned to the optimized members in the model and the member sizes, specifically if their depth changes, the member offsets will need to be updated manually to reflect the new member sizes. The final thing you're going to want to be aware of is in respect to your response spectrum analysis. If you're performing a response spectrum analysis, the frequencies of the model are calculated using the initial section properties. To consider the optimum section properties in the calculation, you're going to need to officially assign those properties to the members and then re-perform the analysis. So to finish up your workflow, you're going to want to consider doing a couple of things. You're going to want to officially assign these sizes or some optimized sizes to the members in your model. We have a couple of different workflows we can do. We can take an automatic approach to that and automatically update their properties using all of the section sizes that were considered during the selection command. Or we can go back to the modeling mode and reassign those sizes there and reperform the analysis. In addition to that, when you're ready to perform your final workflow, you may want to consider removing your optimization commands. Basically, if we reassigned sizes right now and then just re-performed an analysis, the model would want to keep re-optimizing itself, which at this point in the workflow might not be appropriate. In this first workflow, we are going to show you how to return to the analytical modeling mode and manually modify your original design after the optimization. To return to the analytical modeling mode, we're going to go to our workflow panel and select analytical modeling. Here we're going to manually change our section properties. So we're going to go to the properties area in the workflow page control. And we're going to want to go ahead and make some changes. Now what we're going to notice is that STAD Pro, although it hasn't officially assigned any sizes, it's gone ahead and added all the section properties that it found as a candidate for one of the members in the post processor as a result of the optimization. It's gone ahead and added them to the properties dialog to make it a little bit easier for us. We're going to go ahead and reassign uh, different section properties. Now this manual approach will allow you the most control about what you want to change or what you don't. Say for example my horizontal braces. It came up with, I initially assigned uh, an L12 by 12. And if I scroll down, I can see that a lot of different angle sizes um, were chosen. And some of them might be a little bit smaller than I would prefer. So this will allow me the choice of, do I want to change the angle sizes to some of these optimized sizes, or do I want to keep the initial design? For this exercise, we're going to go ahead and keep the initial design. I'm going to focus on section properties that came up failing or needed to bump up a size as a result of the optimization. 
So the first thing we're going to find is for our beam members, if we looked through our post processor, and this will require you, this method will require you to kind of scan your results a little bit more carefully in your post processor to see what sections you want to replace. We're going to change this instead of a 12 by 26. I'm going to double click here. And most of the beam members want it to be a W12 by 30. So we'll go ahead and make that change manually here. So we've made that change to the beam members. Now what we also noticed though is our roof girders did want to be a size larger. They wanted to be a W10 by 33. So we'll go ahead and find our 10 by 33. It went ahead and added it to the properties dialog for us. And we'll just go ahead and assign this to our roof girders. Now if we took a look at our column sections, we're going to notice that our columns came up with the same size that we initially assigned, which was an HSS T 8 by 8 by 0 0.5. So at that point, we would be done replacing those sections manually. The next option we can show you for updating your input file is to have STAD Pro automatically modify your original design using the update properties command. Now this command will update the section properties assigned to members in the input file to those which are the result of a design member selection or group member commands. To find this command, this is available in the post processor under the results tab in the ribbon toolbar, you're going to find your update properties command. We'll go ahead and click this option. Now by performing this operation, the input file will be automatically modified by STAD Pro. Consequently, the analysis results will no longer be compatible with the modified structure and you're going to need to re-perform your analysis. We'll go ahead and proceed and click yes. And it was completed successfully. Let's go ahead and return to the analytical modeling mode at this point and select your properties page. And what we're going to find through your properties dialog is now new section sizes have been assigned to each of the members in the model as a result of the select command. Now, no matter which option you use in order to assign your new optimized sizes to your model, either manually or automatically, you're going to notice that your input file has been officially been modified and your analysis results are no longer compatible with the modified structure and the model is going to need to be reanalyzed in the analytical modeling mode. Now before doing so, it is advisable to go back and replace the select and grouping commands with the check code command. So if we go to the design page within the workflow page control area, we're going to see that our model is still being instructed to perform an optimization through our select and group commands. And we are going to want to consider taking this out for our final design. Now, instead of deleting these commands over in the steel design dialog, you may want to consider just turning them into a comment in your STAD Pro input file. So let's go ahead and do that. In the ribbon toolbar, you're now going to select the utilities tab where you're going to find access to your input file through the editor icon. Let's go ahead and scroll all the way down in our input file. And basically when STAD Pro in the input file has an asterisk in front of any item, it turns it into a comment, which basically means that when the analysis is performed, it's going to go ahead and skip over that line. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take out all of your select commands um, or all the commands you use specifically for an optimization. So we're going to grab our ratio 0.9 command, our select member commands, all of our group commands, and even up through our last analysis command. So we're going to come up this far. Now I can go ahead and add an asterisk in front of each of these, or if I go up into the ribbon, 
I can find a comment icon, which is basically going to automatically turn each item into a comment. Now this will be useful because later on, if I wish to add this information back in, say something significant changes on my project, and I want to re-optimize the model, I can just click on the uncomment option. It'll go ahead and remove that asterisk for me, and I can get my model back to where it was. So I don't have to remove the work that I spent so long entering in. Once I do that, we'll go ahead and click the Save button, and then we'll exit out of the Input Viewer to return back to our model. Again, I'm going to return to the Design tab just to double check what I have here. You can see here I'm performing my analysis and then performing just a simple code check. You can see some of the items that we went ahead and commented out, but they're not going to be included. Now at this point, I'm going to want to reperform the analysis to finish everything off. So again, I'm going to go up to my Analysis and Design tab in my Ribbon toolbar and click on the Run Analysis command. After this is complete, you can go ahead and review your results either in the output file or post processor, whichever your preference and we'll go ahead and go to the post-processing mode. Here I'm going to select the Layouts tool and go to Utilization. And here I'm going to double check to make sure that everything is passing the final code check. Now my model has been updated with new optimized sizes. Everything is passing the code check and all of my results are consistent. So all of my seismic loads are appropriate for the sizes that are now assigned to the model. And if I performed a response spectrum analysis, I'm also going to make sure that these section sizes are consistent with all of those loading calculations. This concludes our process for performing an optimization in STAD Pro Connect Edition. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.